jsfiddle.net. I couldn't be bothered to download an editor and I want to do some coding because I'm beginning to make a recorder, screen recorder. So I had to do some JavaScript as I've done in here and a tiny bit of CSS, HTML, but mostly this is going to be JavaScript. <coughs> so I found an online editor. That's what I needed. So I found jsfiddle.net. So how can you code on it? Well, it opens up into these different windows. Got a HTML section here. And you don't need the doc type because it's already there. Same as the CSS. Um, the good thing about this is, if I scroll to the top of all of them, you don't need any links. It's automatically linked. So this HTML here, I've just put some buttons in HTML and I've styled them here. And when you run, it comes down here. Down this window is sort of console, not full screen. It's just showing you what's, what's happening. Not as you're doing it, you have to run. So down here, I've been writing some JavaScript out. It says no library, pure JavaScript. If you click this drop down button, you can also use CoffeeScript, JavaScript, the new TypeScript, view React libraries, and so on. <coughs> so I've just started using this today. It's very handy. It's just what I needed to save. I think you've got to like sign in. I haven't done, I haven't registered, but uh, I'm not really going to bother. I'm just going to save my work on Notepad. I've done CSS, I've got to save this JavaScript file. So how can you save using JS Fiddle? So this is what I've written. And I right click, copy. And I'm going to Notepad. And here I am on Notepad. It's like WordPad, but you can code on Notepad because there's nothing underneath it. Whereas on WordPad, paste. Now, file, save as. I've got a style sheet I've done earlier. And you can see that says type text, which you don't want. <coughs> so in this file name, I'm going to put, I don't know, screen JS or something. So, as you can see, save as type, dot text or all files. Now I want a JavaScript file or a CSS file or anything. This one particularly JavaScript, so dot JS. By doing that, I'm forcing a file type save. I've done it earlier on a CSS sheet. It won't save because it only gives you options here, text or files. <laughs> but I need it to be saved in that format. So, dot, and you give it the extension, save. Should be done. If I go to documents, um, screen recorder, a new folder, <laughs> and there it is. And I know that's correct. Type a JavaScript file. So I forced it and it looked at JavaScript file. That's what I've done first. That saved as a text document. So I had to remember how to do it again. I always forget. You have to force it. That's stars. That's, that's the icon. CSS, and I know it's right, it's telling me down the type, and the same here. So that's how you can force a save. Okay, um, so I'm back to this. So this JS fiddle, very tidy, very neat. You could change the layout settings, classic, that's what I'm on, 
as you can see there are four boxes like windows you could change it to columns 